You've hopefully heard about our stained glass window sermon series that we're doing at Zebulon United Methodist Church. It started back in June, and each week we've been talking about a different window in our sanctuary, and coming up soon, we will cover more than one window, those in the chancel area behind the choir loft and those in the classrooms adjacent to our sanctuary. Then we will finish out the series with the window in our front entranceway leading out to Gann Avenue. Don't miss out. I'm learning that each window is its own unique masterpiece. There's much to appreciate about every one of our windows. This is true thanks to the people who designed the windows, who made them, who installed them, who prayed for them, and who marveled at them over these past many years. In addition, there are the spiritual meanings and people connections with the windows. I find these things the most fascinating of all. There's more. Something very interesting about windows is that they typically let us see out. This is primarily true of clear windows, and we have many of those at Zebulon United Methodist Church. We can see the shrubs surrounding our church, the yard, the streets, and our neighbors walking nearby. We can see the cars going up and down the street. We can see others' homes and where and how they live. Ultimately, we can see the world and what's happening. We can see the needs of our community and how we can help. There's another thing that windows do. They let light in, like at night, and sunshine during the day. They also let others see inside. And what this can mean for the church is that others can see us and what the church is about. They can see our kindness and love and compassion. They certainly see our deeds and, and services that we do out, outdoors as well, or they can see those. We can also say that windows might let others in to share their views and perspectives. Others look in and see how they might fit in and offer their gifts and talents. Isn't this needed in a church that wants to stretch and grow and thrive? Anyway, I think windows in a literal sense can be so beautiful. And in a symbolic way, they can mean a lot too. Take a few moments and think about what windows mean to you. Here's a word from the Lord in Malachi 3.10 that speaks of the amazing thing God does with windows when we give all we can to him and don't hold anything back. Bring the full tithe into the storehouse so that there may be food in my house and thus put me to the test, says the Lord of hosts. See if I will not open the windows of heaven for you and pour down for you an overflowing blessing. Thank you for this window of time to share a brief message with you. Remember that we're thinking of you and praying for you to have a wonderful day. Let's pray now. Dear God, we praise you for the ways you deepen our faith and help us to give our all. May we look and see the needs of our neighbors and how we can form relationships with them. May we welcome others inside Zebulon United Methodist Church and into our lives so we can learn and grow in faith together. This will please you and be such an enormous blessing. We ask that you watch over everyone and may their day be blessed. Amen. Have a good one, everybody. And may the windows of your heart be opened.